The enemy is powerless. Matthew 28 verses 18 to 19. And Jesus came and spoke to them saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore. This is a powerful statement. Now many, many times we read these two verses in conjunction with the Great Commission and the focus tends to be on the commission itself of making disciples and baptizing them in the name of the Father and uh, Son and the Holy Spirit and that of course is very valid. But I want us to uh, look at how Jesus prefaced that Great Commission. He said, you know, all authority in heaven and on earth has now been granted to him. Go therefore, implying go because of that, go in that authority. So the Great Commission is something that has to be executed from that perspective, that all authority, all authority is with Jesus and he has told us to go because of that and go in that, in the fact that he has all authority in heaven and earth. Now, let's try to understand this. You know, the Lord Jesus has, is, and always will be Lord of Lords, King of Kings. He didn't come here to obtain authority for himself. He was eternally, and he is eternally, God. But the fact that he became a man, and he, as a man, defeated the enemy, is telling us that he did it not for his own self, but he did it for you and me on our behalf. So when he says, and he announces that all authority is with him, it means representing us. He has now taken back what the devil got through Adam. Adam handed off the authority of this earth to the devil. Jesus has taken it back. The authority on this earth is, is now in his hands and he has it. And he is, has authority in heaven and earth in his hands. And he's telling us, you walk in that authority. If all authority is with him, then that means there is Satan has no authority, no more legal right to the earth because now all authority is in the hands of the Lord Jesus Christ. So when we go out into this world, we go knowing that all authority is with Jesus. No authority is with the devil. So we are dealing with an enemy that has no authority over our lives, over things that concern us. We are dealing with the enemy that's been defeated and that is powerless. So we walk in the fullness of the authority of Christ. Now we must understand how authority flows. Authority flows through submission. The head of the man is Christ. As long as the man is in submission to Christ, Christ's authority flows into the man. And as long as a man then extends that authority into his home, into areas of his life that he's responsible for, then the authority of Christ flows in through that man into those realms of authority. As a believer, as you stand submitted to Christ, from Christ, His authority flows through you into your realm. You are walking in Christ's authority, which is all authority. And you're walking in that kind of authority here on earth. The devil stands no chance. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will help us understand all authority that is in Christ, that is now available to us. Help us to understand the authority we have and to exercise that boldly, freely and effectively. Thank you in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.